Hello and welcome to Forgotten Firsts. This is a pilot for another new. Sh it's we're still talking about film. Yeah. Fraser, by new, the way. new, new film. I'm Mark. New, new, new show. Hi. Um, we're still talking about film. We're still watching yeah. crap films. But yeah. Forgotten Firsts is like when there's a current blockbuster or a big film. A sometimes film, yeah. you they might actually be a remake. Yeah, like it might, like the fi the film currently out might be a remake of something s that no one ever knew about or people decided to forget about and stuff. Because that happens too. It's not just good films getting re remade into bad ones. <laughs> Sometimes bad ones get remade into good ones. Do you, On for example, occasions. did you know that the Doctor Strange film? Well, there was one before was. in nineteen seventy eight. Didn't. I knew there was a couple of bad ones like Spider-Man and stuff like that and obviously like Hulk and stuff. I didn't know Doctor Strange was on. It seems a strange one to pick. Oh, the Luferino ones weren't bad. Mm. We no, all but, love no, Luferino like, Hulk. You know, like the 70s sort of 70s and then like, yeah. with Captain America. They're like, I knew they existed. But we've just watched the 1978 Doctor Strange pilot for a series along the same lines as yeah. the Luferino Hulk. Uh, made by the same people for the same channel. And it wasn't picked up, so it never became a series. So it's just a one-off yeah. film, TV movie. TV movie. Um, so and yeah, it's it's, it's the, the film's as old as me. It is. It's a really old film. It's quite old. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, you can see the age on it as well. But not new though. It's okay, don't worry. See, it can be nice sometimes. Even though he's lying, I'm very pleased. Um, <laughs> it. it, it you were saying how it was about the same time as Star Wars, weren't you? And yeah, one year after, yeah, so 1978. And yeah, it wasn't to the standard of Star Wars, but I don't think it's it fair. Did some Jedi mind tricks. Though. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think it's fair to suggest no, it could be yeah. because yeah, TV, TV doesn't have yeah. the same budget. Yeah, at the time as well. Like now, TV's sort of getting more like the higher budgets and the better stories. But for a long time, TV's just been a place for oh, this doesn't won't quite this ain't a massive scale thing, or we haven't got quite a lot of money to invest in it so we'll just stick it on TV yeah but it's kind of cool it shows how like it's developed and stuff which is and it wasn't awful it was I mean it wasn't 70s Doctor Who level of pish no. but it did remind me a little bit of Doctor Who with like yeah, especially the, the big bad with his flappy mouth I know the um, stuff is like the music as well was very like 70s so Doctor 70s. Who sort of kind of thing especially with the villain and their music yeah. it was just like oh yeah yeah, it um, was very kind of wah, 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 like really quite incongruous with the rest of the yeah. soundtrack. It was kind of this is the bad guy. Bad, bad, bad guy. It was, it was, yeah, yeah it was pretty. Um, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got like it was. Oh, click. Okay. Yeah, it was. Well, it wasn't subtle. No, not at all. And it started with. All this bump about oh. another realm and how people have to fight and yeah. and then it didn't all these really... words of dialogue. It was so fluff. Oh, not dialogue, like just words that had just appeared and then this fluff. This ho horror based music and it had such a horror based intro. I was a bit like, oh wait, yeah. And then you reminded me it, it was a you. I was like, oh yeah. wait, yeah, it's gonna be okay then. <laughs> but the, the 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 fluff at the beginning was so. Just bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And didn't yeah. really give anything nothing. for the film or add anything to yeah, the film. Yeah, nothing to like that. Like, but but the, was paid off by it. the intro itself, after that, the, um, the the opening credits were actually really quite creepy and really well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just didn't seem to match the rest of the film. It was ra kind of cool. And it was very like horror based and stuff like that. And it was, it'd be cool because um, Doctor Strange has got like a villain called Nightmare, which they were apparently going to do for. Um, the film that's just come out. So it would have been cool with like, oh, it's in, because in this film, um, oh, I can't remember the, the female's character. She like she's experiencing all these nightmares when she goes to sleep. So it might be a nightmare kind of based, like based mm. off that uh, character. So it was kind of cool with that, but they didn't really go fully deep into like the, you know, the kind of nightmare she having or how horrifying it is. It's just like, I'm just having this nightmare that I'm doing this thing to this one person, it's like, eh, could do a bit more maybe, but... But, I mean, I, I know I might get myself into trouble for this, but I, I, I think that films, particularly the Marvel films, in comparison, are much more sophisticated 
than yeah. the seventies equivalent. Like the Lufarinia yeah. stuff's great. I love the Lufarinia stuff, but the Hulk is a lot more subtle and in, it's. I, I don't really want to say well done, but I want to say differently done in a much more modern way. And yeah. So I think it's very difficult, really, because even I don't remember the seventies and the seventies. The, the the standard was lower, and I suspect it that wasn't bad. Yeah, for yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's because like what what you've got now is like you have that stand standard of superhero films. So you kind of like, um, you know, you've got it pitched in your head. And to be honest, if you like, if you show this to someone from the seventies, they probably wouldn't realize it was like, from a comic book or something. Maybe it's why I didn't get, um, picked up or something. Like you can't really tell. Like with the Hulk, it's obvious because. He turns green. He is yeah, like yeah. Hulk's a big character. Where I was like with Doctor Strange, it was just sort of like you could have just said it was an American Doctor Who, and people probably would have watched it more. But it was yeah, there wasn't yeah there wasn't much relating it to comics either as well, which mm. was a bit strange. But obviously, a bit strange. Yeah, a bit strange. Didn't even mean to see that. Yeah. Um, I had a real issue, and this is an issue I have with. Um, I've had it with X Men in the past. Good guys being really mind rapey. Yeah. Um, Doctor Strange's mentor, in the space of five minutes, had gone into people's heads, convinced them to do things they didn't want to do twice, and then what was the other one that he did? He shut. He gave Doctor. He gave Stephen Strange powers without um, asking. Yeah. Yeah. All, no all of consent. this, no consent, and it's like this is a good guy, yeah. but that's not. That's not okay. That's not good guy behavior. It's, it's not okay at all. He gave Steve, he gave Strange's powers without permission. Yeah. After reading the minds and altering the minds of two people, two completely innocent people, having made a fuss about Morgan Le Fay doing the exact same exact, thing yeah. to a larger scale, but to a lot much exactly the same thing without permission. Yeah. And it's all a little bit rapey. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's that. It's that idea in it, like, mm, it's a bit disturbing. Especially, if, yeah, from a character who's supposed to look up to and stuff. And the fact is, as well, the mentor wasn't that great of a great of one, to be honest. Because, like, Doctor Strange, everyone I know, once they've watched this film coming out... The current film. The current film that's out. You know, you've got that image of him with the cloak and, obviously, the, like, every, just everything. The gloves. Um, just, like, that image... And then you, you have this film, and he don't he doesn't even get there's a, the picture on the bo on the DVD box. He never wears that outfit. He's not never got the cape, no. never got the gloves, and he gets his um, uh, his clothes from the evil person. And it's like wait, what? Fight. Yeah, it's oh my mind's blanking today. It's I've got all the characters. <laughs> the thing is, that was yeah. a perfectly watchable film yeah. with. It was, a, it, was, it was clearly 70s. Yeah. It was clearly watchable, but it wasn't great. But I don't think it was poor in comparison to its contemporaries, like the Spider-Man series, like yeah. the uh, the Hulk series. Yeah, like it, it was okay. It could have stuck around with them, yeah. And like at the time, it fits the timescale it was in. And obviously, if you're comparing the 70s stuff to the now stuff, you're going to see that mm, we've developed a lot since then. And it's hardly fair. It's pretty co Yeah, it's not fair, but it's pretty cool Like comparing them and seeing, actually, this is how far comic book films have come. And yes. It's pretty cool to see that people actually trust in, like... Because th this film didn't really touch on any of the comic stuff, but the film that's come out recently had loads in, like the Eye of Agamotto, like his cape, everything was like the different realms and stuff like that and all these different characters which are mental mm. and like this film felt like it didn't want to touch that it just wanted to touch stuff with 70s like it, this is a 70s show it was much more inspired by Doctor Strange than an adaptation yeah, of Doctor Strange exactly, this one yeah. whereas I feel the current film really was um, they made it very Taken important about his comic. hands yeah, being, focused. being the, the reason why I mean Strange was a knob yeah. And Strange is supposed to be a knob, and that's something they got right in both of these films. Yeah. In the current film, he was more along the lines of the comic book. He was arrogant and yeah. rude, whereas here he was just a bit 
of a sleazy man word. slut. Yeah. yeah, sleazy. Yeah, sleazy, slutty, and but he wasn't yeah. quite as. There's no focus on the hands. It's like no. that's what I love about this current film. Is like the first couple of minutes. It's it's too almost exaggerating to a point. But mm. it's like these hands, everything, washing the hands, putting the hands in the gloves, and then you see the comparison when his hands get messed up and he can no longer do it, and that's why. It feels like in the current film he's going out to look for this power where in this one he's sort of just given it by his parent who gave him a ring or something. It's very Green yeah. Lantern based because he's got this ring and they probably won't even realise they were ripping Green Lantern off but it's, he's got this ring and it's, he's the chosen one because he's got this ring and I, it's his dad's gave it him and these two people are looking <laughs> over him and it's... And it's yeah. Uh, I think they... It's shied less... away from the decadence and the arrogance of Doctor Strange because they were worried that he would be an unlikable yeah, character. No, so the, 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 they got the unlikableness by making him a bit of a gigolo. Yeah, exactly. Um, so he wasn't a good guy, he still got but he wasn't as explicitly a dick yeah, as he clear as the Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch's yeah. character clearly it's was. The person, it's the actor you have as well, like, who... Who can pull that off? Like Benedict Cumberbatch can pull that kind of stuff off, and you can kind of go, okay, you, you're a bit of a, you're a bit of a knob, but we can sort of like work with you and stuff like that, and we can see that you do sort of mean good. Whereas this guy, it's just sort of like they tried to, they showed him, oh, he's trying to do good and stuff like that, and, but, no, yeah, it just wasn't as sophisticated as the one because the way, even the way he's helping, it's sort of like, this the current ones like all d based on doctor stuff and like actual like goes into surgeries does the life saving surgeries where this one it's just like oh he's just looking after people people are like it's like a GP to, to be honest because people mm -hmm. just come to him like oh, um, I've got an ulcer or something so he does he, he shows the care inside by having him in giving him a room and stuff like that where others want to cast him away cast the patients away so mm. he's got that good quality about him but again I think that was deliberate and it, re it really wasn't in with the feeling of the actual comic book character yeah. himself he is an arrogant arrogant man yeah um, but he's it's like he was kind of that house before house it's, yeah exactly it's this arrogance that drives him to be he wants to be the best and he does he knows all this knowledge he's like it's great because he's the one superhero that's power comes from just reading books and like learning, like actual like take, you know, dedicating yourself to one thing, which is quite interesting because a lot of characters will either get their powers from money or from an accent or something, and then they then then they have to work towards it and they have to work with it. But his just comes from like no, I've, I'm following this, um, I'm following this cult basically, yeah. <laughs> but. You know, he's getting it all in and stuff, which is kind of cool to... It's kind of an inspiring message, but this was just like, nope, here's your powers, here's, here's what you do, and it's just like... But there's no... Yeah, you said it when we were watching, there was no way he actually learned his powers. He just went, ah, I can do this now. Look at this thing coming out of my hands, and it's just sort of like... Mm. It was flawed, yeah. but it was watchable. We have certainly oh, watched yeah. over the yeah, last we've year, watched we've watched worse. a lot of Tosh that's not it's as much fun year. as this yeah. film. But, um... Yeah. As, as a piece of history, I Definitely think as, as a comic out. book fan, for a piece of history and how far it's come, it's watchable and, it's, and it's fun. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's not this great. Was like, oh, it's this not was great. Just thinking, if you're in the seventies and this is like, like, if you were, if you like, if you were as big as like, because nerd culture is quite big now. If you were as big as nerd as most people are now, and you were sent back in that time, it'd be torturous. I mean, you get Star Wars. But then you have to wait three years till Empire Strikes Back. Then you're like, oh, I read comics. Oh, there's going to be a comic book TV series. And then you can get this and you're like, no, like, if you ever tr sent mm. back in time, how torturous would that be? But it's kind of cool. And it's not, it's a great reflection on the time we're living in now. It's like, you can go, oh, actually, it's not too bad, that. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on Forgotten Firsts. Mm-hmm.